Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm really excited to share with you that Everlane has opened up international shipping again for two weeks this time from today the 24th of May until Sunday the 5th of June. So if you have been thinking about buying something from Everlane for the longest time but because you didn't live in America or in Canada you just haven't been able to, now is your golden opportunity. And just judging from my experience last year, I would highly recommend getting in sooner rather than later. I'm not sure if there were issues with stock being sold out or perhaps the um, website was just being overloaded but I found when I placed my order which was towards the latter end of the week I really did have a lot of trouble trying to find items on the website just none of the pages were loading for me so I'm not sure if that was just my PC though so I do think if you guys want to get something jump in early just to make sure that you don't miss out. So I was really, really fortunate because Everlane actually let me pick out a few of their pieces and I cannot wait to share these with you as I'm really, really pleased with everything that I picked out. And as you know, I have done a lot of reviews on Everlane. I'll link them down below. I've done video and blog reviews that I will share with you. But I just grabbed a few new pieces and this first one is a t-shirt dress. It is in the linen fabric and I picked this up in the extra small as Everlane does tend to run a little bit large, but I have to say with this particular piece, I am wishing that I picked it up in a small as it is a little bit more fitted around my hips than I would have liked, but otherwise it is a really great piece. I think the linen is excellent quality. It is on par with what you would get from Acne Studios, which is something that I really love. However, it is a little bit sheer. So as a dress, not ideal if you're planning on wearing this to work if you've got a really, really casual working environment unless you're wearing a slip or something like that underneath. However, if you are planning on wearing this just casually around the house or possibly even to go to the beach, then I think that this is a great thing to have in your closet. And also, I love the fact that you could actually just wear this as a t-shirt tucked in. No one would be any the wiser and I'm just really quite happy with this. Now this next piece is something that I was so super excited to get as I have been wanting it for the longest time and it really did surpass all of my expectations and it is the Will Rib Coat again and I have to say I really was a little bit surprised because I wasn't expecting it to have this sort of rib detail. I don't really feel like it showed up that well on the website. However, I do really love it. It's got these enormous buttons and then these big pockets on the side which are perfect for popping your cell phone in when you are walking around. I've been wearing this a lot at home just as it's really started to cool down here in Sydney and I've also worn it on my walks to work and it's just been that perfect piece. It has these really, really great, nice fitted sleeves which just feel really snug on my arms and that is exactly what I was looking for and the length of it is perfect too. I'm about five foot eight. Um, I'm gonna insert a clip of what this looks like on so you guys can see and hopefully it should give you a good idea. I picked this up in the extra small and I really recommend going a size down if you're planning to get this unless you want a more oversized look. But for me, I was really, really wanting to have nice fitted sleeves and just a slightly loose fit through the body and I feel like this completely achieves that. So I'm really, really pleased with this and I have found that, because I said I have been wearing it a bit, the quality is really, really good. It has peeled slightly underneath the arms, but nothing that's a complete deal breaker for me as I do have a deep pillar that I can use to get rid of anything like that. And you do usually expect that with woolen pieces. So that's that. And then the next two pieces that I've got are accessories. So this first thing I'm gonna share with you is actually from the, I think it's called the E1 capsule line. And it is the boot here with the rounded toe. And actually I might just show you one because that might make it a little bit easier but it has this really cool shaped heel. It has a rounded toe, as I mentioned, and then it's got a zip up closure on the side. These are so comfortable. I was really pleasantly surprised when I tried them on. I mean, obviously they're a lot higher than what I tend to wear on a daily basis. So that made me really, really happy with that. And the leather is super soft, really, really comfortable. I didn't feel any discomfort when I tried these on, unlike my loafers, which are really stiff leather. And I find that they do tend to pinch a little bit, even though I've been wearing them a lot. They fit true to size. So I actually went up half a size because I was a little bit nervous after the modern loafer experience and them being too tight. These are a smidge large for me, but I can still get away with them just because of the style and the way that your foot sits in these. It's not too much of an issue, but if you do decide to pick these up, definitely go for your true size. They are a little bit more on the pricey side though, so they are a bit of an investment, but I do highly recommend them. And then the last piece I wanted to share 
is this bag and it is a tote bag this is the zipper twill tote bag and I got it in the reverse denim with black leather straps and I think when I received this I was a little bit in two minds because it wasn't exactly what I had anticipated the straps are a little bit wider than I would like doesn't necessarily comfortably fit on my shoulder I'm very narrow shouldered so I do kind of have that issue sometimes with handbags but in terms of the quality I think it is excellent the reverse denim fabric itself is water resistant which is wonderful because it means if I get caught in the rain I don't have to worry about it the size of it is great as you can see, it is just a huge wide open space. There is one pocket on the inside. I wish it had a zipper so it was a little bit more secure so I didn't have to worry about my wallet and keys just sort of floating everywhere in the bag. And then it has a zip up closure, which I think is great. I think it is such a good thing to have on a bag. And I've been using this so much to travel to and from work. A little bit later in the year, I am planning on doing a video so that I can give you guys an update on the wear and tear of these pieces and also on all the other Everlane pieces that I've picked up as there are quite a few. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, as I mentioned before, I am gonna have all my reviews and everything drop down below and I do include measurements for everything just in case you were wondering if that's going to be kind of a deal breaker when it comes to a brand that you aren't necessarily that familiar with already. I'd love to know if you guys are planning on purchasing anything from Evelyn while they are offering international shipping. I personally am planning on picking up a backpack for Luke and I think I'm gonna get it in the reverse denim as well. We're just kind of deciding whether it gets the reverse denim or the all black. And then I also really, really like to get their linen tank in the gray because I really love my cream one, but I feel like the gray would just be something that'll go a lot better with the rest of my closet. So I'm trying to keep things really minimal as there aren't really too many things that I need at the moment, even though I think if I could, I'd probably just go ham and buy a whole lot more. But yeah, so do let me know what you're going to pick up. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.